Hi everyone, it's Kim from the Magnet Marketing Team. In this video, we will take a look at updated features using Timeline in Magnet Axiom and Magnet Axiom Cyber. Using the Timeline Explorer is a great way for us to take a look at data related to a particular moment in time or a date and time range. Keep in mind, Timeline needs to be built prior to using it. A couple of ways we can arrive at the Timeline Explorer. In the Artifacts Explorer, I already have an Android message selected, and you can see in the Details pane the clock to the right of the date and time. By clicking the icon, we can anchor a relative time and set the range if you would like it to be a particular amount of days, hours, minutes, weeks, months, whatever that may be associated around that time. If you check the box, then you're specifying that you want to use the same range of time before and after that date that you've specified on that anchor. You can also select the explorer that you would like to view these results in. For us, we're going to go to the Timeline Explorer. We do have the option that we could stay in the Artifacts Explorer with that filter applied, but we're going to click OK. You get a message telling you it's going to switch you to the Timeline Explorer. You can click Do Not Show This Message Again if you don't want to see it in the future. In the Timeline Explorer, we have the yellow banner that lets us know that we have an active filter. If I want to narrow down these results a bit more, I can click on the Artifacts drop-down and then select anything else that may be interesting. But since I had selected only Android, I'm going to select communication and see what other types of artifacts that I may be able to have. Within the listing, you can see that by selecting Android messages that we have this preview that is similar to what we have in the Artifacts Explorer and we have our details pane on the far right. We have the clock icon where we could uh, specify a different date and time if we'd like to. A great feature for the listing is that we have the column key detail, supporting detail, and additional detail. These may be different depending on which artifact is selected. For example, I have Android SMS MMS selected and I have for the key detail, it's the sender, the supporting detail is the recipients, and the additional detail is the actual message. If I go down to an Android text now phone call, then it's going to show for the key detail, the conversation partner, the supporting detail is going to be the direction, says that it's incoming, and the additional detail is going to list the duration in seconds for that particular call. So depending on the artifact you've selected, that's going to determine what's displayed for you within the key detail, supporting detail, and additional detail column. Thanks for checking out our timeline features in Magnet Axiom and Magnet Axiom Cyber.